So, um, this is your second uh, tutorial on Framework 7 and in the last tutorial I tried, we stopped where I was going to show you my channel on YouTube. I've done several videos you will want to um, check out on YouTube. This is my YouTube channel. You can always check out. I've done other tutorials like in, um, I've done Twitter Bootstrap, I've done on Kick PHP, I've done on Blog and I've done on um, PhoneGap and Ratchet. There's another framework just like um, uh, Framework 7 called Ratchet, but uh, Framework 7 is just way up the hook. It's more powerful. Right? You can check out uh, a Ratchet tutorial too. It's very simple to use to build mobile apps. All right. So in the next tutorial, we are going to hit on download and um, download Framework 7. is very light. It's just about it's just about um, two MB or so. Uh, that's 3 MB. It has downloaded. Uh, look at it at the bottom of the screen. And the next thing you want to check is you hit on Get Started Tutorial. It's it's also at the top here. The Get Started. All right. And um, the next thing you want to do is you need a server. When you're building a mobile app like this, you need to run it on a server. You can use Node.js or, or use Python to write a custom simple server. But then I like the shortcuts. Just go ahead and download one server. All right. Um, visit warmserver.com and um, if it's written in this strange language you just hit on English here alright so it converts the page to English this is the English version of the page you hit on download or you just simply scroll down to the download section and then download the version for your PC if you don't know um, the version for your PC as you can see it is um, 62 bits and there is a 32 bit for Windows and um, Yes, it's 2 bit and it's 4 bit here too. And um, if you don't know the particular one to download, you need to confirm what um, you need to confirm how many bits are uh, is on your system. All right. Okay, so I'll hit on the one server download. It's about 50 MB or so. Uh, you you download it. I already have it on my system. After downloading, you install one server. After installing one server, you need to start and run one server. All right. Let me just show you. You need to start and run WAM server. So you click on your start menu, you type WAM server. If WAM server is installed, you will see it right here. So I've started mine and it will ask you this question, then you click yes, I want to run WAM server. Alright, so WAM server, when it's running, you won't see anything. You won't observe uh, that anything is happening except you look at the lower right corner of your screen. Lower right corner of your screen. Um, this is here lower right corner so you click on this and um, what you have is this menu here so we want to go to a particular folder in our WAM server and I'll hit the folder it brings up the WW folder this is the folder it brings up for me so what you want to do is the framework 7 fo zip folder we downloaded that time do you remember this framework 7 zip folder you just have to copy it to the new folder here. We have this. So we'll copy this to this. So this is how we do it. We'll find out first of all where it's installed. You click on show and then um, this is where it's installed. You right click and um, copy. Then you locate your WAM server folder. You locate this folder. First of all, there are two ways to find this folder. You want to notice that it is in a particular file path which is C it's in your C drive in a folder called WAMP and in a folder called WW let's check it out so from my C drive in a folder called WAMP and in a folder called WW this is the the, the folder we're looking for otherwise you can um, find it from here go to the lower right corner of your screen and um, on WAMP server click WAMP server and um, click WW directly it brings us straight to this point all right so we have arrived at the at, the, at this point in our server so we first of all right click and extract um, I've extracted it before so you right click and um, extract files here or you unzip depending on what options you have here okay you can open it and then drag the folders out whatever it is just unzip this file and then um, you end up with this so um, just for clarity sake I want to up unzip it myself and um, show you how I did this we are extracting and bang it is done so this is we extracted this to get this 
I'm going to delete this folder. Um, I did it before, don't worry about it. So we extracted this and we got this. First of all, we open it to be sure we have what we are looking for inside. And uh, unfortunately, it's in another deeper level. So what we'll do is we copy everything out here and then put it one level higher. Is that okay? So we copy everything. I'll click Ctrl A or just highlight everything. Or Command A if you just Ctrl A like this. Okay, so we copy. I'll cut so that everything leaves it. Then we come back one level higher and uh, I'll right click and paste. After which I will delete the source folder. This is the folder we that was left there before we just deleted it and that's it. Okay, which means back to our WW folder. If somebody comes here and opens this folder, we just see this exactly. Alright, no need to go deeper again. Alright, and then ne next we need to rename this to something cool to you know something cool to remember. So let us call it um my first mobile all right app or whatever my first mobile app i've renamed the folder to my first mobile app so when you open a folder like this the first thing you want to check out is the dist folder this is where you start building the distribution folder okay so your dist um as you can see they have done some samples for you which you can to start building you just delete everything and start afresh or you just start building on what they've already built so they have done some samples which you can check out now if you want to check this out this is inside the server and our warm server is running what we have to do is to make sure since our warm server is running always make sure your warm server is already always running when you want to build a mobile app so we'll go and type localhost in our browser slash Remember the name of the, the folder slash my first mobile app, then you hit enter and then it brings this up. Alright, apart from that, we can just navigate straight to the dist folder and say slash dist. Alright, this is what we're looking for. This is the, the, the app, the default app it came with. So the, the the this page showing here is actually in is actually what, what is inside here. Alright, just to prove it to you. We will rename this index to um, any other name. Then I'll refresh, reload page, and what do we have? Error. Hope you get it now. So once we put it back to index, we we'll start saying it um, index, and um, that's it. All right, but then um, this is too wide. Can, this can be a mobile app. It's too wide. It covers the whole screen. So we have to. We need to have it in the form of a mobile app. And uh, if you are using Google Chrome, which of course I recommend everybody should use, you should just right click and inspect element on Google Chrome. And when you click on inspect element, this this thing pulls up. This thing pulls up. All right. Then for some people it might pull up by the left side or by the right side, okay? So but mine is underneath. Then you click on toggle device mode and it will change this to mobile app. Have you seen? So we can now drag down this. So right here we have a mobile look. Alright, so this, this now looks more like a mobile app. And remember there are some settings you can always look do here. You can choose to have it emulate any particular mobile phone so I can choose to have it emulate Galaxy I can choose to have it emulate um, iPhone 5, iPhone 6 and um, Nexus XP and so on and so forth okay so depending on what you're developing for alright iPad and so on and so forth then for each one you choose you have to refresh the page I have to reload this page I right click here and reload page and uh, we have it all right, but I prefer Google Nexus, and I can reload from here too. All right, so see you in the next tutorial. Uh, you, we have seen how to start and run our, our application, as you can see. And uh, in the next tutorial, we'll continue with exploring uh, Framework 7.io, and uh, we'll proceed to build an app that uses all Framework 7 features. Thank you very much. See you. Don't forget to check out my my channel on YouTube. Get to YouTube and search for Brain Team and um, follow me all right i'm also on twitter at, at brain 10 and on facebook all right see you in the next tutorial